We love this world, dunya. I love dunya, you love dunya, we all love dunya. Its love has been instilled in our hearts from such a young age. We love its houses, its cars, its yachts, its money, its women, its fame, honor, status, and power. When dunya comes to me, I'm excited and I'm happy. And when dunya is taken away from me, I'm sad and I'm miserable. We love this world, but this world doesn't love us back. You can give this world everything you have and it'll take it and give you nothing in return. Allah, the creator of this world, the one that knows it for its true colors, Allah says, and what is the life of this world? Except it is the enjoyment of delusion, deception. We think these toys bring us happiness. It's not real. Happiness is not how much you have. Rather, it's how much you can live without. We think that by gaining all of these pleasures and these toys, that we're going to reach contentment. Our Prophet has told us وسلم, that nothing will satisfy the hunger of man in his quest for this world. Nothing will satisfy our hunger except what? Except the dirt, meaning that when we enter our grave, only then will we be truly satisfied. Our Prophet has told us that if man had, if the son of Adam had a valley of gold, guess what? He would wish he had another one. You know, death once asked life. He said, why does everyone love you, but yet they hate me? So life responded and it said, because you, death, you are a painful truth, while I'm, I'm a beautiful lie. That's the reality of this world. There is no happiness here. You will never find true contentment in this world. Allah, the creator of this world, the creator of true happiness, has told us the only place, the only location you will ever find true happiness is where? He says, verily in the remembrance of Allah, the hearts, they find true rest, true happiness, true contentment. That's where you find it, not in this world. And he's also told us the opposite in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that whoever stays away from my remembrance, whoever stays away from my faith, from my way, from my path, whoever stays away from it, guess what? Allah promises, no doubt, Allah promises for that person is a miserable life. If you don't have Allah in your life, you will never be happy, regardless of how much money you have. The equation is just not there. You want true happiness then run to Allah. That's where true happiness is. It's not in this world. Don't exhaust your effort and waste your life chasing a mirage, chasing something that Allah has promised us it will be destroyed. You want true happiness? Run to Allah. Allah will give you true happiness in this life and in our real home, the everlasting home, the home that will never ever have new owners except for you, Jannah. That's what we're seeking.